Short update on the sheep and their babies. They're growing like weeds. This was one of the last ones, the little girl. Um, I think I've decided I'm going to sell all the babies this year, maybe get a couple more grown ewes. Um, quit now. So this was a single ewe. This was a single ram. He's one of the older ones. He's almost a month old. Isn't he huge? He's gorgeous. Solid white, kinky hair. Go that way then. There's the ram with these, but he's not the daddy. <laughs> it's a little black one I'm going to be keeping. There's a twin. The twin, uh, the last twins. They were tiny last time y'all saw them. He's been a strong little booger, but the solid white one's a girl. She's already over there with the rest of them. She's already over there. Go that way. You'll find her. Go that way. You'll find her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they think there's something. <laughs> Bring him this way. They don't have to run. They don't have to run. Stop. There's no need to run that far. Just walk them. This is the new dog. Ever since I said in the last video that I'm milking her now, ever since I milked her, she does not leave my side. She's a sweet old girl. Yep. You're a sweet girl. Yeah, it's probably going to snow tonight. But this video was supposed to be for the sheep, and they ran off. Let's see if I can get around them. Da -da -dee. Got a new phone, so you won't hear that um, a duck call if I get a text. So we'll see if the videos are any clearer. Here's the twins. They're the youngest. Actually, they're not. That one single doe with the brown spot on her back is the youngest. But they were like a day apart. But these were the twins. And he's been the runt his whole life. He's, I mean, he's healthy as a horse. These first three are getting huge. And then the black and white one is a week younger than them. Um, and he's keeping up with them. He's, it's hilarious. They, for some reason, these two stay with mama. They're mama's babies. These five, even the little girl you can see her over there with them, even though, um, she's about a week younger than the black one. The black one's about five days younger than the other three. They don't care. They, these five stay together. The little black one right there will be my next ram. <laughs> and, um, in case there's anybody in my viewing audience that lives around northern Arkansas, uh, I'm selling the rims for 125 and the ewes for 150 but I'm going to do a uh, package where you pick one of these rams, yeah, one of these rams, these three big ones here, and the two ewes, both white ewes for uh, 325 um, So if that's something that sounds good to you, uh, personal message me, and we'll talk. Um, and you can pick out of all these. And the way I'm going to do a butcher sheet this year is the one that doesn't sell. Um, it'll all be by the draw. That way I don't have to pick one. Whoever's still here at the end, uh, the last one, go in the freezer. Um, and like I was telling my wife, you know, she's like, they're so cute. By the time I butcher them, they're not going to be babies anymore. That's what people got to realize. Um, you don't butcher these sides right here. Um, I'll probably butcher at four or five months old, and they are going to be almost the size of their mama. Um, they're already going to be weaned and running crazy and <laughs> being silly um so it's it you don't you don't look at it like oh you're eating the baby no the baby's worn off um but they're already eating good uh, i got them on some grain uh, these here are almost a month old um and they're doing great um 
and that's the sheep. A couple of goats coming over here to eat with them. I don't know where the rest of the goats went. They must have went in the yard. But the sheep have loved them. Um, uh, I have wormed them since last time I talked to y'all. Uh, this one did have bottle jaw, and it's been taken care of. They've all been wormed. Um, there's really a big fight up here going on. Not a, a fight may not be the word. There's two groups of people. Ones that don't worm at all, and ones that worm too much. Uh, every you know, you call one vet, and he's like, "Oh yes, you worm <coughs> every 60 days, whether they need it or not." Then you have others yeah. that say, "Well, if you worm them, you just ruined them." <laughs> um, my thought is, if I could worm them when they have babies, um, right after they have babies, so the babies get some of the protection, the mamas get some, and then not have to do it again until they have babies again, that would be perfect for me. I'm not sure if that's going to work. And if you comment that that's bad or that's good, I really don't care. Um, that's why I'm doing this farm, so I can learn myself. Um, but uh, that's that's where I'm at right now. Um, the next couple of I get, I think will be half Katahdin and half St. Charles. Um, I think I like that cross. I've heard the St. Charles a lot more hardier to the parasites. And so I want to try a couple of mixed use to see. Uh, my other question out there, is there a big, should I keep with Katahdin's, uh, pure Katahdin's, or do people like a little mix? I mean, does it really matter, is my question. Um, this, no, uh, this you here has some beautiful twins. Aren't those two boys beautiful? They're the oldest, and she's kept her weight. She's not skinny, and those suckers are beautiful. Man, they're beautiful. Wish they were two U's, but Lord knows I wouldn't get rid of them, so... <laughs> He was listening to my wife this time. <laughs> but all the sheep are doing good, getting big enough to be mischievous and growing like weeds. But I'm going to let y'all go. It's about to start snowing here, and so I'm going to get everybody up. i got to go get the chicks. They've been in the outside pen. Go put them up. I'll go do a video of them real quick, see if I can load these videos tonight. Um, but everybody's doing great here, guys. Um, really doing good uh, sheep are doing great uh, sheep are more hardier in my opinion have been more hardier than the goats we will see I have more baby goats do we'll see how they do I'm, I'm not big on babying them I don't have the time to baby them and so I want breeds and a strain that take care of themselves now there's always going to be a um, a time when I need to step in that may be an emergency but that shouldn't be one out of three animals that needs to be a once a year kind of thing in my opinion and that's what i'm working for um so we'll see on the goats i'm gonna keep some of the goats that are good and i'm gonna get rid of some that i don't care for uh probably get a couple more you sheep um like i said either katahdin pure katahdins or half and half with saint charles um working on the rabbits getting them back in here getting them back going the reds uh, it's about time to get the bees, uh, the beehive in place for when my friends hive swarms. I can catch them. Just a lot of stuff to do. Um, but everything's going great here. Oh, the garden. Uh, about to start tilling for the garden. Uh, I'm going to have two gardens. One is going to be a communi community garden about a mile away uh, at an old man's house that I found here that I become friend with him. That he has one other man that helps him, and they have about a two acre garden, plant everything. And then in the backyard, on the far side of my yard, I'm going to do a small one where my ma wife can play with her bell peppers and cucumbers and all that stuff that she loves every year. That way she can have a hands-on on that. Um, so a lot of gardening will be in the future. Um, I'm just not that good at it, and so it'll be a learning experience. I've done it every year, but I just don't have a green thumb. I'm, I'm more the animal uh, side than the, the green side. But... You'll have a wonderful day if the snow has hit you or is on its way to you. Enjoy watching the animals without snow because um, we're supposed to get some tonight. But I'll oh, quit, little man. Is that black little ram beautiful? He is something. Let me see if I can get a close-up. Move out of my way, ram. I want that little boy. Not gorgeous. It was between him and that dark brown one in the back, but I just love that blackish, almost like a charcoal color. All right, tell him goodbye, big mama. She hasn't left my side. 
this whole whole ordeal with her has made her even more of a pet. But she is awesome milk goat. Um, and so, Lord works in mysterious ways. Y'all have a blessed day. Goodbye.